The first thing you notice when you see Don Draper is his undeniable, vast self-confidence. He knows what he's capable of. He always has a clever comeback, and he always gets his way. Now, when you watch this breakdown, you'll notice that these secrets are very powerful, yet they are nothing that you can't learn yourself if you pay close attention and understand what he's doing. That's why we're gonna go over a few scenes and break them down to show you exactly what makes him an alpha male so that you, too, can gain that true self-confidence yourself. So in this scene, we see Don leaving the apartment of a woman whom he was sleeping with after police swarmed the building. Buy yourself a car. Don. The cops. You can't go out there. You can't. Now let's just watch that one more time. The cops can't go out there. You can't. That right there is true confidence. The fact that he believes in himself so much that nothing stands in his way of leaving the building. He's calm, he's relaxed, and he's teasing. Usually when people tell you that you can't do something, they just accept it and don't do it. Even if they don't say it, they show signs of it. Looking down or away, looking annoyed or frustrated or even flat out getting angry. These are all indicators that they aren't self-confident. Not Don Draper. He looks at his opposer dead square with his shoulder back and says, you can't. Then even goes as far to hold that glare to prove a point before walking out. He knows what he can and can't do to a core. And if you noticed, he doesn't make a big deal about it because the truth is, if you are self-confident, the opinion of others don't matter to you at all. Why should they? As long as you are confident in yourself, others will believe in that confidence as well. Don Draper knows what he is capable of. He knows his limits and pushes them constantly. Take a look at this scene and see if you can notice what he is doing. From many shades of lipstick, one that belongs to her. From a basket of kisses, she picks one. It makes her unique. It colors her kiss. And her kiss, well, it colors her man. Belgely lipstick. Mark your man. I only see one lipstick in your drawing. Women want colors. Lots and lots of colors. Mark your man. It's pretty cute. Oh, you like this? Well, maybe we should cut down to five shades or one. I'm not telling you to listen to anyone, but this is a very fresh approach. It's okay, Kenny. I don't think there's much else to do here, but call it a day. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Is that all? You're a non-believer. Why should we waste time on Kabuki? I don't know what that means. It means that you've already tried your plan, and you're number four. You've enlisted my expertise, and you've rejected it to go on the way you've been going. I'm not interested in that. You can understand. I don't think your three months or however many thousands of dollars entitles you to refocus the core of our business. Listen, I'm not here to tell you about Jesus. You already know about Jesus. Either he lives in your heart or he doesn't. Every woman wants choices. But in the end, none wants to be one of a hundred in a box. She's unique. She makes the choices and she's chosen him. She wants to tell the world he's mine. He belongs to me, not you. She marks her man with her lips. He is her possession. You've given every girl that wears your lipstick the gift of total ownership. Sit down. No. Not until I know I'm not wasting my time. Sit down. Let's rewind a bit to see that again. You're a non-believer. Why should we waste time on Kabuki? As we can see, Don believes in his sales team pitch so much that he isn't willing to waste their or his time anymore. So he up and tries to end the meeting right there. A pretty risky move for most people. 
Most would have just sat there trying to convince them on the idea for another 15 to 30 minutes, accepted that they aren't taking the new proposal, and ended the meeting. Not Don. He holds his ground and pushes the line of what he is capable of. Let's continue to see how they react. I don't know what that means. It means that you've already tried your plan and you're number four. You've enlisted my expertise and you've rejected it to go on the way you've been going. I'm not interested in that. You can understand. I don't think your three months or however many thousands of dollars entitles you to refocus the core of our business. That's pure confidence and self-awareness there. He not only tells them what they already know, but also slightly insults them. He continues to stand his ground because he knows in his mind that he is right and knows this better than anyone else in the room. He's pushing the line of what he is capable of and isn't afraid of. Normal people would have just accepted that they didn't like it and would try again with a new idea. Not Don. He knows what is best for them and is willing to prove it. He's also accepted the fact that if they aren't willing to work with him, they shouldn't be a client. While others would weasel their way out of the conversation, reset the meeting, and try to come up with something that makes them happy but isn't good for them. Now let's see how he gets them on his side to really lock this in. Listen, I'm not here to tell you about Jesus. You already know about Jesus. Either he lives in your heart or he doesn't. Every woman wants choices. But in the end, none wants to be one of a hundred in a box. She's unique. She makes the choices and she's chosen him. She wants to tell the world he's mine. He belongs to me, not you. She marks her man with her lips. He is her possession. You've given every girl that wears your lipstick the gift of total ownership. Sit down. No. Not until I know I'm not wasting my time. Sit down. At this point, most would have buckled in and started to wrap up the meeting. Don goes on to prove why he is right, and they need to go with this plan, even striking that point further when refusing to sit down to make sure his time wasn't being wasted. He held his ground, made his claim, backed it up with confidence, and ended up winning them over in the end. Had he not had a high status confidence and approach to the matter, that would have never happened, and they would have lost a client that day. Don knows how far he can push things like this because he's been doing it for years and trusts in himself to not mess it up. If it wasn't for that unbreakable self-confidence and knowledge of his limits, he would have never been able to do what he did, let alone get away with it. All of this is combined with his ability to have a witty comeback always up his sleeve. I don't blame you. She was way out of line. Adding money and education doesn't take the rude edge out of people. Well, Roger's not going to be happy, so I guess that's good for you. I'm not going to pretend I don't want your job, but you were right. I'm not great with people. And you are. I mean, not counting that meeting we were just in. So I'm kind of counting on you to help me out. There's plenty of room at the top. Look, I'm sorry I was so hard on you before. It's just this damn tobacco thing. You'll think of something. A man like you I'd follow into combat blindfolded. And I wouldn't be the first. Am I right, buddy? Let's take it a little slower. I don't want to wake up pregnant. As you can see, Don had just gotten out of a meeting, and his team member is discussing what happened with him. He makes a comment towards the end, and... Let's re-watch it better to see what Don says in rebuttal. A man like you I'd follow into combat blindfolded, and I wouldn't be the first. Am I right, buddy? Let's take it a little slower. I don't want to wake up pregnant. Don didn't just say thank you and accept the compliment, but instead said something witty, holding true to the fact that he isn't seeking approval from anyone, further showing that he is truly self-confident. You see, confidence doesn't come from other people's thoughts, feelings, and opinions on you. Confidence comes from within, how you truly see yourself. Don shows that well by saying, Let's take it a little slower. I don't want to wake up pregnant, showing that he doesn't care what he thinks about him. Overall, Don Draper is a confident, 
self-believing, limit-pushing, witty alpha male and isn't afraid to show it. We've seen several clips to demonstrate that point. So what are the takeaways? One, believe in yourself. Confidence stems from believing that you can ask that girl out or that you can get that raise. Whatever it is, you must believe in the fact that you can do it. Second, you constantly have to push your limits. And if you don't know where your limits lie, find them. Don, throughout the show, constantly pushes how far he can take things so that when the time comes, he knows how far he can take it to make the difference. Lastly, you have to be clever and quick on your feet. Several times has Don had a clever comeback to anything thrown at him. It didn't happen all at once, but over time. Practice being witty whenever you can, and over time, it will come to you. Now, if you want to learn more about how to be an alpha male like Don Draper, we have a free confidence training where you're going to learn the 10 ways you can practice that cocky confidence that Don Draper has yourself. The link to the free training is in the lower left corner of the video and in the description. Now, if you didn't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications as each week we're uploading cool videos like this one that you don't want to miss out.